What just happened at UFC 294? My word, it's heartbreaking. Johnny Walker, Magomed Ankalaev, a very, very important fight in the light heavyweight division. Just finished because the doctor called off the fight. I'm sure you've seen it. If you haven't seen it, you've got to check it out. It might be one of the craziest, weirdest stoppages ever. <sighs> The doctor was doing his job. He was asking Johnny Walker questions and then the referee called it off. Let's go through what happened leading up to that. Now, first of all, the fight started off really good. Looked like it was going to be a solid contest, a very, very exciting fight and kind of evenly matched, right? They were exchanging leg kicks early. Johnny Walker's really good at punishing the legs. Magomed Ankalaev was firing back, exchanging leg kicks, all the rest of it. Magomed catches him with the right hand, kind of wobbles Johnny Walker, but he recovered quickly. Johnny Walker being the goofy guy that he is dancing and popping and locking his way to the octagon and all this shit uh, tripping up onto the stage yesterday at the weigh-ins that's who he is he likes to have a bit of fun he likes to enjoy himself he's in the cage he gets hit he goes oh he pretends that he's hurt it looks like he is hurt it looks like a liver shot or something and then whoosh, jumps up in the air flying knee kind of misses with the flying knee but it was a very smart creative attempt Magomed Ankalaev gets a hold of him, drags him down to the canvas, gets him, gets him down on one knee, he's trying to try for the rear naked choke and things like that. And Johnny Walker is defending, he gets like an underhook or the whizzer, he's on his back, Magomed knees him. An illegal knee. He was down, kneed him, it looked like the body to me at first, but then on the replay you can see it clearly hit him in the head. The referee did the right thing, it was an illegal blow, stops it and then they bring in the doctor. And then this is where it all starts to get, well, not weird, but just really unfortunate. And the scenes afterwards were really unfortunate. Now, the doctor's speaking to Johnny Walker. Johnny Walker didn't look too bad, but a knee to the head from somebody like Magomed Ankalaev, and when you're on the ground already, you're not up high, right? The higher the knee goes, it's going to lose force. It's going to lose power. It's going to lose momentum. If you're on the floor and the, and the knee is kind of a, you know, waist height, you can really generate some massive power there. Hits Johnny Walker with a big knee. Johnny Walker's a big, strong guy. He's got a hell of a chin. He's awake. He's conscious. He's still in the fight. But it was a foul, so the referee stops it. The doctor comes in. And then the audio was a little difficult to hear. Now, if you listen to the commentary team, they were saying, where are are you what round is it what country are we in and Johnny Walker did look confused he looked confused he didn't give the right answers I mean to be fair he has just been kneeing the head okay for an eye poke you get five minutes for a for, for a knee in the groin you get five minutes for a knee in the head let the man have a little bit of time so he probably didn't know at that moment in time what country he was in, okay? I think they said, what round is it? And he wasn't sure what round it is either. Sometimes it doesn't matter if you are dazed and confused or just high on adrenaline, which he would have been, and he clearly was, because we'll get to what happened in a minute. You might not know what round you're in. All you know is that you're in a fight and you're ready to go. Referee, Dan, move your headie. Move your headie. There's a lot of jokes there. Uh, you got to move your head. Uh, waves off the fight. And the crowd... He's very upset. Johnny Walker's upset. Magomed Ankalaev is upset. And the fight is ruled in all contests. And it's just an absolute shame because both men are clearly still ready to fight because they are trying to get at one another. Johnny Walker's losing his mind. He's going across the octagon. He pushes the referee in frustration. Security has to run in. They're all holding Johnny Walker back. Magomed Ankalaev then, he's trying to get at Johnny Walker. It would have been great to see them fight. They wanted to go at one another. I think they need to bring a rule in. If it's an illegal blow, give them a bit of time before the doctor comes in and starts interrogating them, before the doctor comes in and starts asking complicated math problems or where you are or what country he's in. Let him clear his head. Let him clear his head and then say, are we good? Are we fine? It's a shame for Johnny Walker. It was an illegal blow. Magomed Ankalaev, I'm sure, was just caught up in the heat of the moment, probably didn't mean to knee him. And when you're fo focusing on your opponent's head, you're maybe not looking at the knees at the same time, so he probably didn't realise, but still, you are responsible for your weapons. Oh shit, hits the fan. All hell breaks loose. Everyone's screaming. Ca crowd's booing. Johnny Walker's upset. He's still trying to get at Magomed Ankalaev. Magomed's getting held back by all his team. Dana White runs in, takes control of the situation like the G that he is. Uh, because I'm telling you, don't talk shit. He's the boss. 
And the fighters know it. Right there and there, they're pushing guys. Dana walks in, woof, you cut the bullshit. He said, hey, cut the shit, Johnny. Calm the fuck down or something to that effect. Johnny did calm down. Control was resumed, so to speak, but the fight was not. The fight was over. It was done. And it's an absolute shame. They should do a rematch. They should throw that on the next fight because it was looking like a really good fight and they've clearly got unfinished business and there's a lot of a lot of bad blood coming into this one now. Um, but my biggest takeaway from it all is that, as I say, if you get five minutes now for a poke in the eye, which, by the way, was a, a recent rule change. It always used to be if you got kneed in the groin, right, or punched in the groin, kicked in the groin, whatever, you were allowed five minutes to say that you were okay. And more often than not, fighters say, I'm good after 30 seconds, a minute, whatever. But they were allowed five minutes. If you were poked in the eye, you weren't afforded the same luxury. If you were poked in the eye, you had a pretty short amount of time and you had to say to the referee there and then or the doctor, pardon me, whether or not you could continue. The reason for that was is because the judging and the officiating and the commission come from the boxing world. And in the boxing world, you can't poke somebody in the eye, but you can punch them in the groin. So the rule in boxing was if you punch somebody in the groin, you got five minutes to recover from it, okay? Fortunately, they brought in the rule, they changed it to where if now you poke somebody in the eye, you are, as I said, afforded the same luxury. You are allowed five minutes. And now look at this. If Johnny Walker's just taken an, elite, an illegal knee, to the head. If it had been an illegal knee to the groin, he would have got five minutes. If it had been a finger in the eye, he would have got five minutes. So if he's just taking an illegal knee to the head, which was clearly a foul by Magomed Ankalaev, that could have resulted in a disqualification, that certainly could have resulted in a point deduction, then why wouldn't Johnny Walker be given five minutes to get his wherewithal back? to figure out where he is, to figure out what country he's in. Abu Dhabi, brother, to figure out that, listen, we're in round one. We're going to war. I took a knee to the head because it wears off pretty quick. You don't need even five minutes. You need a little bit of time to blow off the cobwebs. The doctor was too quick to come in and too quick to start asking those questions. I get it. Safety first, okay? And the doctor's trying to protect the fighters, okay? But the fighters are trying to protect their legacy. The fighters are trying to protect the hard work that they've done. They have just gone balls to the wall for two months, flown to the other side of the world. And this was a very important fight in the light heavyweight division. Magomed Ankalaev ranked number two. Not sure off the top of my head the ranking of Johnny Walker, but he certainly ranked. And the both closing in on a title shot. First one for Johnny Walker, and again, another attempt for Magomed Ankalaev. So, just upsetting. It's nobody's fault. I guess if you had to point the blame at someone, it would go to Magomed Ankalaev because it was the illegal knee that started off this whole circus. I understand Johnny Walker being frustrated. I think, and, and hey, who am I, right? I'm a former fighter. I don't, you know, I don't get involved in the regulators, regulatory side of things. I just don't. That's not me. That's not my role. But I think a logical progression to the rules would be if it is an illegal blow and they're going to call it a no contest, allow the man five minutes. Should that not have not been a disqualification? Maybe it was a disqualification because I came in here straight away. Let's just have a look because... Uh, no contest. No contest. Yeah, a no contest. If anything, that should have been a disqualification. Look at Aljamain Sterling and Piotr Jan disqualified. If Anthony Smith had stayed down against Johnny uh, John Jones when he got kneed in the head, he would have become the light heavyweight champion of the world. I'm assuming because it happened in round one. But why can't you get disqualified in round one? Maybe I'm missing something there. And if I am, I apologize. But... <sighs> it's unfortunate, but you know what is fortunate? The main and co-main are starting. I'm out of here. Subscribe, ring the bell. Take it easy. Bye-bye. <laughs>